Betong, Sarawak, a home to wonderful places that is filled with rich history, agriculture, and beautiful natural sites for all to enjoy. Betong, with its unique geographical location, is surrounded by three main rivers, which are Batang Lupar, Batang Saribas, and Batang Kelaka rivers, having also establishing one of the first rubber tree plantations in Sarawak, they officially made the rubber tree their symbol, with a monument built to honor their achievements made in the past. Lying in the Saribas area, Batong was formerly one of the districts in Sri Aman. Population, as stated by the Sarawak government in 2010, is 62,131 residents with the Iban being the majority, followed by the Malays, Chinese, Bidayu, Melanao, and other races. The main economy in Batong are farming, agriculture, and fishing. There are also those who are employed in the private sector and run family-owned businesses. Batong is vastly known for its agro-based industries over the years establishing itself to be at the forefront of transforming lands into producing high-returning plantations. True to its icon, the division has transformed large areas of lands into small rubber and palm oil estates to establish Batong as one of the major producers of rubber in the whole of Sarawak. In addition to that, Kabong and Baladin are both recognized as fishermen villages, providing the division with a strong economy based on fishing and harvesting seafood. The origins of its name derive from a type of bamboo called the buluh batong in Malay. Stated by Chang Pat Po in the Book of Legends and History of Sarawak, that in the olden days, there were plenty of bulu batong vastly grown in the lands of Batong. One of the main attractions in Batong is Fort Lily that was built in 1855 by the Brook Establishment. It was named after Charles Brook's wife, Margaret Alice Lily the Vint. The purpose of the fort was to keep the alleged Iban rebels in check. In that area, an Iban leader from Padeh River named Aji, who was the third son to Orangkaya Pemanca Dana Bayang, led the Saribas Iban insurgency, opposing Brook's authority over the area and refusing to give foreign power to rule over the Ibans. In April 1858, the Brooks sent out an expedition to subdue the rebellion. Fortunately, Aji survived the attack, but the British caught wind of Aji's survival and ordered another attack where they were successful, and Aji was finally killed in Kuala Langit. The fort was also where the battle between the infamous Sarawakian warrior Rintap and the Brook establishment, fighting for the rights and the traditions of the indigenous tribes. The battle included many prominent names such as Sharif Masahor, whom he forged an alliance with to combat Brook and his forces. Fort Ran, constructed on the hilltop in the center of town in the year 1888 in Sarato, served as the Sarato district office for many decades. The building has since been transformed into a community broadband center, CBC, that provides broadband internet services to the area as an initiative by the Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission, MCMC. Bukit Sado, a well-known place as one of the three major historical battles of Rentap and the Brook government, taking place from 1857 to 1861. Situated 3,000 feet above sea level, was the stronghold of the infamous Renta, a figure, a formidable Iban chief, warrior, and a hero to the people of Sarawak, and his building is regarded by the Ibans as sacred grounds. It is a three-hour climb, 
with a steep trail that leads through a dense forest filled with exotic wildlife. Interested in experiencing the Iban tradition and culture? Nanga Samu, Sungai Paku, is a place to start. Located at Ulu Paku in Deba, this longhouse maintains its original longhouse design, which is made out of the bilian and Iban wood carving. Upon entry, visitors will be greeted by the ancient skulls, or antupala, of beheaded enemies that were kept as trophies by Iban warriors. For nature lovers, visiting Maludam National Park can be a trip to remember. Located three kilometers from Kampong Maludam, it is the second largest national park in Sarawak. Home to the red bandut langur, proboscis monkey, silver langur, long-tailed macaque, and two species of hornbills, the black hornbill and the oriental pied hornbill. For more exciting locations to explore, the Wong Karibau Waterfall in Deba and Wong Kalangsau Waterfall Ulu Awi in Sarato are one of the hotspots for nature lovers. Not to forget the Betong Festival, which is an annual event held at the Betong New Township, featuring water sports, cultural performances, singing competitions, and various other captivating activities. Indulging in Iban cuisines is one experience to behold. One of the dishes to look forward to is the panso, where meat or fish, seasoned with herbs and lemongrass, is cooked in bamboo shoots over an open fire. Another exotic and much sought after delicacy is the puffer fish, cooked in a curry or spicy tamarind sauce. The eggs of the fish are particularly sought after as well within the area. Another local favorite is the pipus, minced fish wrapped in banana leaf and grilled. Did you know homemade pineapple tuwa wine is also a special cuisine of Bato? A popular dessert one can find is the kueh barangin made from coconut and glutinous rice flour. There have been several leaders hailing from Batong, like the first Chief Minister of Sarawak, Tansri Dato Amar Stephen Kalongninkan, who was born in the Saribas district, which at the time was part of Simangang. Batong has promoted education, especially among the people in the division, as many have graduated from the institutions from within the area such as Maktap Rendah Mara Science, Mara Batong, SMK Dato Patinggi Kedit, Batong Vocational College, Batong Metro Polytechnic, and Batong Community College. In recognition of Batong's rich history, rapid growth and contribution to Sarawak's economy, it was accorded a division status on 26th of March, 2002. It was selected to become an administrative division center. The areas of administration include the Sarato district and Batong district. Batong is acknowledged by many as the place where the early ancestors were from, as they paved the way for the Iban community in other areas as well. Major investments were made in the development of educational facilities like vocational schools and polytechnics as a way to ensure the development of human capital to meet the demands of Sarawak Corridor of Renewable Energy, SCORE, with renewable energy as its focus and other major projects. SCORE is a major initiative undertaken by the Sarawak government to transform the state into a developed state by year 2030 focusing on the development of energy-intensive industries. Plans and programs in agriculture to gradually increase food production in Batong Division are being implemented to make Batong Division into the state's food basket. As stated by Deputy Chief Minister 
and Minister of Agriculture Modernization, Native Land and Regional Development, Dato Amar Douglas Uga. Penyakan saya adalah kedarun cit dari sejak grandfather saya dari tahun 1957 sampai sekarang sudah generation yang ketiga sudah. Penyakan yang saya dekat sini biasanya jual roti ka, pasal itu ikan masin ka apa ka. Selain itu sini betong banyak juga ada. Macam orang jual pasar tu pertanian punya ada lada ka geta geta paling popular dekat sini. Kalau kawan kawan ada minat pasar barang macam tu ka boleh datang ke betong sini. The state government has always recognized the rights of the natives over their land. Thus, the state government has embarked on the new Native Customary Rights NCR New Initiative Survey Program and amended the Sarawak Land Code to recognize the use of fructuary over native territorial domain, which leads to Coastal Road Network Program in construction of Ijo, Teguyo, Lempao, Batu Peso, and also Rantau Layang Road, Betong. With this extensive road, connectivity will serve as a catalyst for further economic development, especially in the rural areas, opening up new areas for agriculture and commercial development, as well as other forms of socio-economic activities.